Hi guys, my bug assault, uh, bug killing device has, um, has died. So um, I thought it was just stuck uh, with a bit of salt stuck in it. This is a um, pretty cool toy. It's like a pump, pump action um, toy gun that fires salt out and uh, kills flies uh, without you having to get near them and swat them. Unfortunately, <clears throat> this little part here, which should be attached to the end there, which is the the uh, locking piece, once you cock it, has broken off. Um, so what I intend to do is um, I'm going to cut this down in half and I've got some, uh, some acetal and I'm going to mill that square and remake the end on this. This is really tough stuff. It's not going to, uh, not going to break off like this cheap plastic here. Uh, and then I'll uh, fix it fix it to this so um, let's get onto the mill and uh, make the replacement end piece okay so I've zeroed the height of the DRO um, and we're gonna have to t that uh, that square that I need to go down to is um, 0.37 of an inch and this is a three-quarter bar so I need to take off uh, 0.19 um, to get to the same square uh, what I'm using I'm using these one of these um, collet the ER40 collet chucks this one's a hexagonal one um, and this one's a square one they're really helpful for being able to um, machine squares in a mill Okay, that's the first first side done. I'm going to carry on and do the other three.
Okay, so I've made my square. Um, now what I've got to do is just thin it down to half of the, uh, the piece that I'm taking off, uh, but just leaving the end as the hook piece, which stays at the original size. So I've got to take um, 0.18 off. I've already zeroed the MRO. So let's just get on with it. Okay, so here we have, uh, I don't know if that's going to focus on that. Here we have the piece we need. Um, and you'll see in a minute how that, how we're going to fit that onto the, onto the gun. Okay, thanks. So here we are again. Um, I've mounted the, the piece in the mill. So now we've got to thin it down to half. That we need to remove off. Not sure how the stuff will mill. Yeah, the machine's okay. That's okay. Okay. That bit off. Um.
so our piece should fit on there like that what I'm now going to do is just screw that onto I'm going to get some little screws and screw it so that it creates the piece that was missing I've just got to round a lot of this off make it look better okay let's get to it okay oh, time for coffee okay so just get all the little burrs and things off sometimes just a nice sharp knife just gets the all the little burrs off okay that's pretty good. Now I'm going to be mounting that there like that. So get my drill. I could do this in the mill, but can't be bothered. So hand drill time. moved at the last minute let's try that again and we get one go at this okay so the first drill i've made is the um drill that the screw can thread into now these screws I took out of some piece of equipment I took apart a while ago. So it's always handy just to keep all your old screws and things. You never know when they're going to come in handy. So that is the thread screw. And now I'm going to do the clearance. Just through this. Like that. Hold on. Need, to... need to counter sink sink these because um that screw can't be proud of the piece. I've got one of these counter sunks. Like that. We now should fit in there. Screwdriver somewhere. Oh, come on. Okay. One. I'm going to put three in. Um, three should be enough. So most importantly don't forget to take out your clearance drill otherwise you'll be doing clearance holes not to drill through my finger last one decided just to drill in the bench that time rather than my finger Now sometimes these plastics grab when you're drilling, so I don't want to accidentally drill through into my uh, nice new piece, so... Push it 
push it off to one side. Okay. Okay. Very good. You may think this is a lot of effort to go in to fixing a salt gun, but hey, it's all part of the fun. That one needs to be the camera sunk a little bit more, so. Okay. Okay, not bad. All I've got to do is just put that other screw in and we'll assemble the rest up. Okay, so as you can see, we put the main body in and I've um, made sure that the cocking mechanism is right to the front. Um, so all the gears are aligned as, um, as best as possible. And the hooking mechanism, as you can see, um, that's our new hooking, hooking mechanism. It locks into uh, this piece and as as you pull it back it goes up and the hook just locks into that once you pull the trigger it the trigger allows that to go up and um, it sets it off okay so uh, I need to make sure that the hand mechanisms are on um, just gonna make sure the screw is in the, that last piece better It, these ma magnetic um, trays are really good um, your, your screws don't drop out I've got a few of those um, I always find them really handy I'm just going to get all these screws in here sometimes I'm tempted to use a, a, a electric screwdriver but they tend to strip out when you're screwing into plastic so I am um, with this sort of assembly I always try and use the manual screwdriver okay now this piece uh, this is the locking bit I just need to make sure the spring is over the top of it yeah oh, there, there you go yeah um, right, and there's a different screw that holds that down so I'm going to just screw that in not too tight uh, catch locking piece in and a trigger mechanism in now the uh, trigger mechanism locking plate was going to make sure that's all screwed down tight okay that looks good um, I think that's all the screws in 
okay now this piece is a little awkward because it has to slip in on the inside but then it has to pop over that bit on the outside and it, it's just a little bit of a squeeze to get it in just a fiddle something you just got to force it a little bit uh, not quite in yet oh it's a little tight oh there you go in okay so what I'm going to try to make sure all the pins line up and snap it into place okay that, that looks good that looks good okay I'm gonna get uh, there's one screw I need to get in first because that goes under the cocking mechanism uh, oh, there's a screw already in the hole there you go okay okay just tighten it down okay now put the cocking mechanism on I've got to line up the two pins make sure they're both lined up top and bottom there you go now um, okay just get these screws in okay that's not bad happy with it so far okay now I'm going to get a few of these screws in uh, I'm not going to put too many in because I need to make sure it cocks and it all works properly so I don't have to um, take it all apart again should something not be working just a few screws not too tight okay cock it yeah that cocked and safety off is it going to fire yes it fires excellent excellent okay cock it again yep safety off oh oh i should have maybe put a pair of extra screws in the top there it's uh it's popped apart a little bit that's okay that's okay uh yeah no damage done so yep great great hope this was good for you um really really been a fun project speak to you soon bye